Hi there, this is Teresa from Teresa's Crochet Shop. And in this video, I'm excited to share with you the super easy instructions for how to make your own little winter hat for your amagurumi. This hat takes just about 30 minutes to make. And in this video, I'm gonna share the instructions for making this slightly larger hat. On my website, you'll find in written form the instructions for making both the smaller size and the larger size hat. I will link to that in the description below. To crochet this hat, you will need to know how to chain and single crochet and also how to double crochet and to make the slip stitch. To make this hat, you will need yarn in the color of your choice. I'm using medium or worsted weight yarn. And then you'll also need a sewing needle and sewing thread in a color that matches the yarn color that you choose for sewing your yarn ends later on. You'll need a crochet hook. For this medium weight yarn, I'm using a five millimeter hook. You'll need a yarn needle, sharp scissors for cutting the pom-pom, and then also a fork. I'm using, if it's a clean one, that would be good. I'm using a fork to make the pom-pom at the end of this tutorial. You could also use a pom-pom maker if you have one. For round one, you will chain two, and then work six single crochet stitches into the first chain that you made. If you prefer the magic ring method, you can work six single crochet into that magic ring. I'm gonna chain two, and then I'm going to do six single crochet into that first chain. For round two, I'm going to chain two, and then I'm gonna work two double crochet stitches into each stitch around for a total of 12 stitches in the round. After you've worked 12 double crochet stitches, you will join to your first stitch of that round with a slip stitch. You can see here that these are the chain two that you made, one, two, and then this is the stitch that you'll be joining to with a slip stitch. For round three, you will chain two. And then again, do two double crochet stitches in each stitch around for a total of 24 stitches in the round, and you will again join with a slip stitch at the end of that round. Now that I've finished 24 double crochet stitches, I will again join to the first stitch of round three with a slip stitch. For round four, I'm going to chain two and then double crochet in the first stitch, two double crochet together in the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch, two double crochet together in the next stitch, and repeat this 12 times around for a total of 36 stitches in the round. And then again, I will join with a slip stitch at the end of that round.
I now have 36 double crochet stitches around, so I'm going to join with a slip stitch. And now for rounds 5, 6, 7, and 8, or 4 total rounds, you will double crochet 1 in each stitch around. So 36 stitches around for 4 total rounds. I've now finished the four rounds of 36 double crochet stitches in each round and my hat is starting to look like a hat. And now I'm gonna start making the ear flaps that come down from the hat on either side. So to do this for round nine, I'm gonna turn and working back the way that I came, I'm gonna single crochet, not double crochet, but single crochet four stitches. Then for round 10, I'm going to turn and single crochet three stitches. Then for round 11, I'm going to turn again and single crochet two stitches. And then lastly, turn one more time and single crochet one stitch. And now I'm going to fasten off. I'm going to leave just a short yarn tail for weaving in later. To make the second ear flap, I am going to lay this hat flat and figure out where the other side of the hat is. I'm just going to do this approximately. I'm going to attach new yarn to my hook and then starting on the opposite side of the hat, I'm going to single crochet four. And then turn and single crochet three. And then turn and single crochet two. And then turn and single crochet one. Now, instead of fastening off here, I'm going to single crochet a border all the way around the hat until I'm back where I started. Now that I'm all the way back to where I started, I'm going to do a slip stitch to join to the first border stitch. And then fasten off, leaving a short yarn tail for weaving in. Okay, the next step is weaving in your yarn tails. So this one here at the beginning, you're just going to leave it because you're going to pull it through later into the pom-pom to hide it. But for the rest of these, I'm going to show you how I weave in these yarn tails. I'm going to stitch that in a minute, but I'm going to go ahead and weave these yarn tails in as well. Since they're so close to each other, I'm going to weave them into the same spot so that I can stitch them down at the same time. I'm going to turn this hat inside out for sewing the ends down. So I'm going to grab my sewing thread and sewing needle in a color that matches the color you chose for your hat. Now 
and then I'm going to trim all these ends off pretty short down there to where I sewed it. See? Barely visible. Now I will do that same thing with the yarn end on the other side. For the tassels, you will cut six strands of yarn that are each about 10 inches long and then separate those into groups of three. And using your crochet hook, go from the inside of the hat in this stitch right here on the point, grab the three strands, pull them through the stitch to form a loop. Then grab those strands and pull them through to form a knot. And repeat this on the other side. Okay, now separate these strands into groups of two and you will just braid these together until it's the length that you like for your tassels. I think that's good right about there. So I am going to tie this in a knot. and trim the ends. And then I'm gonna repeat that and braid the other side. Okay, now for the fun part, making the pom-pom. If you have a pom-pom maker that you're comfortable using, go ahead and use that to make a small pom-pom. I'm gonna show you how to make a pom-pom with a fork because I honestly like using a fork. I just think it's a simple way to make a pom-pom. So inserting your yarn into the middle there Hold this short end with your left hand and wrap the yarn around the fork about 50 times. Okay, then cut a shorter strand and thread this onto your yarn needle. and bring both ends up in the middle of the fork and tie in a knot as tightly as you can around those 50 strands that you wrapped. Okay, then you can pull this off the fork and marking your spot there in the middle, go ahead and cut with sharp, the sharper scissors the better to do this, cut each side of the strands that you wrapped. So first that side, and then turn it around, cut the other side. Okay, now holding on to the pom-pom with those longer yarn tails that you used when you tied it in a knot, go ahead and cut off these longer strands, and then trim your yarn tail. So I found that actually the more you trim, the better the pom-pom looks. So don't be afraid to trim it to look as ball-like and as pom-pom-like as you can. And now it's time to sew the pom-pom to the hat. I'm only going to need one yarn tail for doing that. And then thread this one onto my yarn needle and sew this pom-pom to the very top of the hat, right on that beginning circle at the top of the hat. Then if that feels secure, go ahead and secure your yarn tail with a knot. And then weave that inside the pom-pom, bring it out anywhere. And trim the end. And then if you remember, you still have a yarn tail on the inside of the hat. 
go ahead and thread it onto your yarn needle and weave it out through the pom-pom. And now your little hat is finished. Here's the slightly smaller hat that I also made. You can find the instructions for making this smaller hat included in the free pattern that is on my website, TeresasCrochetShop.com. Now it's time to try a hat on one of my animals and make sure it fits. There we go. All ready for winter. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Happy crocheting!